hi viewers uh, and my dear students um, i'm here to explain about uh, cambridge igcc ict 2017 october november paper 21 database part so database part of uh, this question paper uh, is uh, going to ask us to create a database and then import two csv files here maybe some other files as well but at the moment i can see here only two files these csv files are text files so we need to import them and then we'll start work on it how let's see yeah we'll open the database package here and i'm going to name it paper 2 1 2017 october and then i will just click on to save in my folder so here is my folder just click on save and then click on create database is created i need to close the table first here they said a trainee is developing a database for tawara cruises you are going to create some reports for tawara cruise cruises to test their this database make sure all currency value display the same a symbol of your choice and are two decimal places so we need to open these two files and examine them first so we are going to our folder here to examine these files one is cruise and another one is liners so this is what this has it has a date here yeah so look at the format of the date date month and year and then we have uh, some boolean data and here we have cost and this one is i think so capacity yeah so we have gone through it no need to save anything and then we have liners what it has it has some crews their headquarters and other information right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start importing a file. So we'll go to desktop to our folder. Mm. Yes. So we'll start with the cruises. Is they have mentioned here first is the uh, start importing cruising do not create a primary key we don't need any primary key so next the next step is first row contain field name next and we need to cross check the data types so when you are checking the data types as they have mentioned the first two is text then date and time then text text correct then long integer long integer integer and then last one is boolean logical adult only so we just need to change this one to yes no the rest is okay just click on okay next and no primary key next finish the file is imported click on close let's see how it look like this is how it look like so we need to fix something like here must be yes no here it must be a currency with two decimal places and then date and time format if they have given no yeah this is there is dd mm and then y so you need to close this one then click on uh, right click and then design view then just click on date and time here and choose the format d m m m and then y then daily cost is must be currency with two decimal places and yes no must be displayed as yes no click on save and next step take screenshot evidence showing the field name and data types used in the table insert this into your evidence document so we need to print screen and then we'll go to our evidence document here database and then just paste it and then i always prefer to crop 
the image to show the field name and data types sorry we need to click on the cropping handle here just like that this is how it will look like next step import the file n17liner.csv as a new table in your database so we'll close this one and liners Let's click on next first row contain field name next and then uh, here primary key is liner code so liner code is our primary key next then finish the file is imported here and then after what as I said create a relationship between the liner code field in the cruises table with the liner code in the liner field so we'll click on database tool relationship add both the tables liner code with the liner code so one too many let me just enforce integrity it will allow yes it is this is how the relationship is now print screen because in next step they ask you to take screenshot evidence showing the liner code set as a primary key field and into your evidence document and also relationship so as I have copied the relationship first I'm going to paste this one and then uh, data types of the second table with the date field sorry need to click on the cropping handle here yes you just uh, need to crop from this corner as well relationship and go to your database save and close and right click design view and print screen of your liner table as your evidence number four so this is how it will look like that's it next step step number 21 create a data entry form which will include all the fields from cruises table allow the user to select the liner code data from a drop down list so in this case we need to create a data entry form now close this one choose your cruise table and create a form by wizard select all the fields next next modify and then just click on finish as you can see here a uh, liner code we need to allow the user to select from a drop down list so we need to arrange this one first so when they ask you to uh, use a drop down list insert in your evidence document to show the drop down list displaying some of the linear codes so in this case what you need to do first of all right click change to a list or a combo box as you can see it is changed now and then some of the liner codes so you just need to open this cruise table and uh, cl01 cl02 some of them i'm going to add so we'll just click on uh, data we'll choose from the value list and that will be cl01 cl02 and maybe cl03 as well some of the values they have said only and uh, there is zero four is here four and eight they are here so you can include some more it's okay like uh, cl04 uh, cl08 then cl0 or cl10 i guess straight away and then just click on ok there is no 0 before 10 i guess yeah 
so that's it after inserting now what you need to do you need to get a screenshot like when you click on view just click here to show that you have arranged the data into your combo list this is how it will look like just crop it that's it this is what they need a form with a combo box fine next is use the form created in step 21 to add the record now you need to add this record into your uh, database so you just click here on new and then you will enter sorry you will enter your record cl03 so cl03 then the vessel name is glory carnival glory we just select and paste this one and after date is 18 uh, 12 and 17 I guess yeah then uh, Miami then destination Eastern Caribbean double B and it is a single R then after it is a 10 then 105.75 and then it's a 2974 and no after entering this data again print screen and then just click on next record to save now close your table as they said place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the data into your form so we just need to save this one showing the data into your form so we just need to form it then crop it so we can see our data here a little bit from this side just like that now the data can be clearly seen here now next step is to produce reports so when they ask you to produce report always remember you need to produce a query because you need to select some specific records so from both the table they have mentioned here so in this case you need to click on create then query by wizard first step is ok then select all the fields from cruise table then liner table then just click on next next and before i'm going to name this query for example query one and just click on modify and finish so what they ask you to do first contain a new field called total cost which is calculated at runtime and displayed as currency this field will calculate the total cruise cost by multiplying the duration by daily cost so here if you go to the end here what I'm going to do is just click here then just click on builder so duration multiply by daily cost as they have mentioned here duration multiply by daily cost just click on ok and then type here total underscore cost this is what the field name will be it is done then just click on save and run so when you go to the end here a field is calculated here but you need to have this one as a currency with two decimal places save and run this time and just let's see how it look like now so it look exactly as they want now just click on design view and move forward to the next step select only these records destination is caribbean just select this one destination 
so we have here the column of destination yeah you just need uh, to get this one and then after duration 8 or more so means greater than or equal to 8 and then adult only is no when you click on save and run the query sorry yeah here they have used the word destination is in the caravan so there must be something before caravan so we just need to put here a star and let us run this time so did we got some records here now yeah eastern southern all of them are here that's it just click on save and uh, close now and move forward to the next step as they have mentioned show only the fields sale date so we will start with the report now so sale date then vessel name then we have embark then destination then cruise line then we have duration then we have daily cost then we have total cost at the end then just click on next next no grouping and as they have mentioned sort the duration into ascending order duration in ascending order and then sale date in ascending order as well sale date next and we want this one to be in landscape orientation as they have mentioned here and then so we need this one to be in the landscape orientation then just click on next and move forward as they said fit on a single page wide yes we will do that and include a habit uh, heading here caribbean festive well guess so just copy this one and include this one as your heading just like that and click on finish and we need to fix our report now to fit on a single page so just uh, design view or oh, sorry just click on the layout view and try to fix your report now just like that some field names are not clearly visible so we need to fix them just like this yeah move this one back yeah everything is clear here now we just need to move this one back then destination just like that and then cruise line we need to fix this one as well and then just like that and daily cost daily cost we need to reduce a little bit and then the total cost just like that so you can see now our report is fit to a single page when you print preview it width wise and length wise it's okay if proceed to the next page the field should not be more than two pages then after they said calculate the average duration and display this as integer under the duration so you just right click on the layout view first and then right click and then there is an option total and then we have duration here average when you get that average here it must be displayed as uh, integer so you just need to make the decimal place is zero and as well as if you can just reduce this one so you can only see the integral part and then after they ask you to have a heading to the left of this number just right click and set a caption here and we'll just change the caption and we'll move this one towards the right and the heading will stay here to the left of the digit just like that that's it if you want to move this one little bit here you can 
that's it and then they have said has your name center number at the bottom of the report so design view get from here a label and just write your name then center number and candidate number and just click on print preview this is how it will look like it is not so clear so design view just need to make it clear or you just extend this one little bit just like that then click on save now next step is they ask you to print the report and then place in your evidence document showing formula used to perform the average calculation so this formula they want to see in the evidence document so print screen and just paste this one as your evidence here once it is pasted now you just form it and then crop and just show the formula that is more than enough yeah and then just like that as it is done now moving forward uh, using fields uh, from the cruise table produce and extract from the data which show only the records uh, which have a destination of trans uh, panama canal and then after with a sale date of after and before so what you need to do is you need to save this one or close this one we are done with it yeah and then just click on uh, uh, create here and create one more query from uh, cruises table only so you just select only the cruise table select all the fields next next modify and I'm going to name it uh, query 2 for example query 2 then just click on finish oh there is a space we can just reduce or q2 just next now here they ask us to uh, destination is trans panama canal so just choose this one and paste it and then after the sale date is 10 12 20 so you can just write here between 10 then 12 2017 and 24 12 2017 and just run the query so it is the duration and the date is here you can see the date it is between yeah between uh, 10 till 24 December between yeah next step is show only the field vessel name duration and sale date in this order okay so design view we need the vessel name duration we don't need this one we don't need sale date I guess then we don't need the um, oh yes we need the sale date embark we don't need then destination is not required then duration we need daily cost we don't need capacity we don't need adult we don't need so we need only these three fields adult uh, is not needed here and then just click on run these three fields they need only and then just uh, click on save and next step they said here sort the sale date in descending order so design view uh, sale date in descending order so just click here sorting descending save and view 
this is how it look like and then after they said uh, place in your evidence document showing the criteria used to select the required field design view and then just uh, click here yeah just print screen and then uh, paste it into your evidence document here just paste and then uh, format and then just crop the other part of the picture and just show the criteria that's it this is what they ask us to do and then in the next step yeah, if uh, there is something actually missing here in this criteria yeah now you can take a screenshot short because uh, it was not clear it was not clear the sale date so now the sale date is clear now you can just crop it like this only and now you can see the data is clearly visible as the data is clearly visible now next step is save this data in a format which uh, can be imported into the document that you can uh, save in step number 18 then you need to get your extraction to move to the task uh, next task so what you need to do is you just need to save this one uh, and to import to document so just close this one then right click on the query and then there is an option export to word document and you just need to save it into your area so when you need it you just get it from there and just go to your folder here is your folder with the p2117 and just click on save close that is done next step is to the relational database uses data store in two tables Describe in your own words two advantages of using relational database rather than a flat file database. So we are just going to write about the advantages and disadvantages or just advantages of the relational database. So we have many advantages. First of all, the uh, you can say the data entry is easy, producing and reports that is much easier and also uh, you can see retrieving data is more easier so that can be the advantage so you just need to open your evidence 10 here and write two advantages for example um, uh, quicker to update or uh, enter the data that is one and you can say that reduces storage requirement storage requirement and uh, you can say that fewer errors fewer errors uh, are likely just like that and now next step is to um, Tawara Cruz uh, would like to use social media to promote their business so describe in your own words how they use social networking as a mean of communication not more than 50 words so you can just write two or three sentences it will be enough so you can say here that uh, they can easily post images and videos uh, post images and videos uh, of cabins and then you can say ships as well and also that instant messaging instant messaging last minute uh, changes to Literary yeah, 
library yeah that's it and uh, you can also show that uh, allow customers allow customers to ask questions about prices and durations that's it so that's the end of uh, database part of this question paper hope you have understand how to deal with the database and uh, importing the files and producing queries and reports and exporting data to a word document or rtf format thanks for watching subscribe the channel for more updated videos